Hey guys, what's up, it's Tashi, and welcome to back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. What is up? What is new? Well, so many things are new. If you've been keeping up with the vlogs, I moved into a new house. I dyed my hair blonde. All of those vlogs will be linked right up there on the eye. This is the first video that I'm filming since I've actually dyed my hair and looking at myself in the camera, I literally do not recognize myself. Like every time I catch a glimpse of myself in the reflection, I'm like, who was that? It's quite dramatic actually, like every single time. I'm like, oh taking some getting used to. I definitely like it. I think it's cute. And we're still kind of working on the colors, so we're gonna get it kind of like perfected over the next few sessions. But for now, I'm pretty stoked with how it came out. I think it looks pretty cute. Anyways, that is not the point of this video. The point of this video is my up to do makeup tutorial. I haven't done a makeup look in a hot minute. I literally do not remember the last time I filmed a sit down video like this. Like I've literally just been vlogging. So I'm excited and you guys have been requesting it. So I thought, why not show you guys what I do? This is kind of the look that I do for my TikTok videos. It's kind of just like an everyday look when I choose to wear makeup. Usually I'll just put on some like mascara and lip balm and a little bit of eyebrow stuff. Also, I'm putting on an ink box tattoo right now because I'm obsessed with tattoos and I just, I really want, I, I want more tattoos, but like I, I am afraid of commitment. And also like, do I really want tattoos? Is it just a phase? Maybe. So that's why I'm like doing the fake tattoo. Without further ado, subscribe if you're new and let's get straight into this video. This video is sponsored by High Smile, so I'll talk about them a little bit later and whiten my teeth and just chat it up with you guys. So let's put this hair up. So my hair is nice and out of my face. Let's get straight into it. I'm gonna start with my moisturizer. This is the Youth to the People Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream. This is my absolute favorite moisturizer of all freaking time. All right, so moisturizer is on. This is the solid and striped face sunscreen. It is reef safe and it honestly just kind of feels like a serum. This is SPF 30. It doesn't leave any white cast, which is like my favorite part about the sunscreen is that you don't get that like white shadow. It just kind of gives you a nice glow. If I'm gonna be directly in the sun, I'll usually wear like real reef safe, like very intense sunscreen. Cause I spend a lot of time in the sun and I gotta protect my skin. It's so important to wear sunscreen. Next up we have foundation and concealer. So this one I've been using for a couple of months. This is the Nude Illusion from Wander Beauty. I'm in the shade medium. I also like to use a few concealers as well. It really just depends on the day and how much coverage I want. Today we're gonna go like kind of full out just cause like we're doing the damn thing, you know? But usually I'll just take like one swipe of this and kind of just put it everywhere. Then I'll go in with my beauty blender, get that damp and just tap it out. What I love about this foundation is that the coverage is decently full, but it still allows for my freckles to peek through just a bit. And it doesn't look cakey at all. Like it looks very, very natural and just like very pretty and soft. As for concealer, I'm gonna go in with the NYX HD Studio Concealer in the shade CW06. So I'll just put like a little bit of this underneath my eyes as well as on my problem areas, which is usually around my nose and my mouth. It's kind of like where I get the most breakouts. Same thing with the beauty blender, just bouncing that into the skin, kind of allowing that to brighten up the under eye. I also bring it above the eye, just prime for whatever eyeshadow I'm gonna do. Next for a little bit of bronzer, this is the Breezy Cream Bronzer from Tarte. And I use it with this little fish brush from Gold Beauty Mermaid. I pretty much just like get a bunch of product onto the brush. Line up kind of where it is I wanna place my contour. Then I just flip the brush like this and begin blending up. I'll take that on the jaw as well. So that's the initial bronzer. I usually just tap it out a bit, then go over it with a brush like this, just to kind of blend it out a little bit. All right guys, so next up is my face powder. This is the Revolution Banana Light Powder. I tend to get quite oily throughout the day, especially because I do like a quite glowy look. Pretty much I use this powder and I bake in all the places that I know I tend to get quite oily. And I literally just like mattify those areas. So those areas for me are usually just like the T-zone more or less through the eyes and the middle of the face. Thank you. 
All right, guys, so don't mind the excess powder on my face. I'm going to wipe it away, but I just let it set for a minute. And while I talk to you guys about High Smile, you guys know I love High Smile. I've been a big fan of theirs for a while. We've worked together for a minute. They're super simple, easy to use. I use the day and night toothpaste every single day and night. Literally brushed my teeth just now and I'm almost out of it. I gotta get some more of this. I swear by High Smile. They're great. They have great ingredients. They don't use any harmful chemicals and they just actually work. So that's like the most important thing to me. It's been a couple weeks since I last whitened my teeth. They definitely could use a little bit of maintenance. So pretty much every few weeks, I just use a quarter of one of these gel pens and it's super simple. All you gotta do is put the product into the mouth tray, top and bottom. Each of the pens are good for two uses. Once you have the product on the device, you just put it in your mouth and you turn on this light. It acts as a timer for about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna wipe my teeth, let my powder set and I will be back. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like I genuinely have seen a difference in my teeth and it doesn't make your teeth like ultra sensitive. That's what I do not like about like traditional white strips is that it makes your teeth like really, really hurt, especially when you have something cold. I definitely would recommend High Smile to anyone who is trying to get whiter teeth. If you guys wanna give it a try, you can click the link in my description down below. Anyways, let's move on with the makeup. I'm just dusting off that excess powder and kind of just putting it on the rest of my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my bronzer with a little bit of powder bronzer. This is the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. I really like this stuff and it just like smells really, really good. And it's super buttery, it goes on super easily. I'd say it's a pretty nice summery bronzer. Gives you a quite nice tan if you have fair to medium skin like me. All right guys, I know I jump around a lot with how I do my makeup, but once I get this kind of initial base on, I like need to do my eyebrows. So we're gonna do my eyebrows. I'm also gonna put on a little bit of lip balm. This is the mangobalm.com from Glossier. My favorite lip balm of all time. As for brows, I've been using this inked brow from Urban Decay. It's super, super easy to use and a little bit goes a long way. I've been rocking a kind of darker brow with this light hair. I think it's super cute. Very much just following the natural shape of my brows, not overly shaping them in any way, but just kind of filling in the sparse spots. And before it dries down, I like to kind of bring my eyebrow to a point. So once I have the product on initially, I'll just take any spoolie and just brush my brows up and kind of just move that product around into the rest of my brows. The spoolie kind of like acts as a blender and also allows me to kind of position where I want the hairs. All right, so this is a tip that I actually learned on set, but anytime you feel like you need to check what something's gonna look like from a different perspective, I'll just take like a photo of myself and check it on my phone and see like where I need to add more product because like I feel like mirrors can be a bit deceiving. Like you kind of just see what you wanna see. Whereas like the camera kind of just tells it like it is. Yeah, so like this eyebrow is definitely like not as full as this one. So to set my brows in place, I use the Brow Finish from Urban Decay as well. And this is just a clear brow gel that literally works so well. Like I have tried so many brow gels and this is the one for me. All right, so my brows are on. I really like how they look. The bold brows with the blonde hair is just like such a vibe. Let's move on to my eyes. This is my favorite palette. I've had it for years. It's literally gross. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And I just go in with this mousse shade and I kind of just put that in my crease just to give some initial definition to the eye. I've been keeping my eyes quite neutral recently and doing some fun fox kind of cat eye looks that I'll show you guys how to do in a minute, but this is kind of the base. Just working with a little bit of contour on the eye. To buff that in, I will use this fluffy Eco Tools brush, and then on the other side, there's a smudger. I'll take that same shade and just go underneath the eye. Just to initially define my eyes. Now for the fun part, let's bring you guys in a little bit. This is how I do my cat eye. This has been highly requested. It's so simple. You guys are gonna be like, oh, Okay. Also, please don't judge my palette. I know it's gross. I know it's gross. I just take the shade Hot Fudge on an angled brush and then I begin. I'm scared to do this on camera because like, you guys make me nervous. This angled brush straight from the lower lash line. I follow that line up towards my eyebrow. I take the brush and just lightly place it there. 
and wisp it out just a tiny bit. Boom, boom, done. Then from there, I will take my finger very, very gently, lightly pull so that I can get nice taut skin so I can make this very clean. Then I just brush back the line and smooth out anything that is uneven. Does it look different every single time? Absolutely. Do I really like this? No. But the thing with eyeshadow is that eyeshadow comes off so much easier than eyeliner that if I do mess up, I'll literally just take that wing off and do it again. This, when I'm like in my zone, takes me like two seconds. It took me a long time to get to that point, like literally so much trial and error. Okay, amazing. So that is one eye. All right, so other side. So as I go, I kind of monitor to see if my eyes are matching and I'll just kind of take off that eyeshadow and keep going. Are they perfect? Absolutely not. When I put mascara on, will it look better? Absolutely. Now is the fun part. I take the brush, same shade, hot fudge, very, very lightly, follow the line of my inner corner and just simply stamp right where I want that kind of fox cat eye look. And if you stamp it in the right place, it literally will just do that for you. So taking the angled brush, you're simply going to line it up with the inner corner and stamp that on. All right, so next I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. Okay, where's my mascara? So next up we have mascara. This is the Perversion from Urban Decay. I don't have one mascara that I use. It really just depends on the day. I have like a bunch and I honestly don't wear too much mascara so it really doesn't matter. I do like how fluffy and voluminous this one makes my lashes, but I mainly focus my mascara on the outer half of my lashes and kind of sweep my lashes towards the winged eyeliner. And that way it can kind of continue to give me that pulled sort of beautiful cat eye Bella Hadid look. So I'm just going to lightly touch this on my bottom lashes, just very ever so slightly, only on the outside half of my bottom lashes. So now coming back to the face, now that we have some eyes, some eyebrows, we kind of got something going on here. I'm gonna use this number seven blush in the shade Peach Velvet, the little stippling brush and just lightly kind of stipple this onto my cheeks. All right, guys, next up, I'll just take an eyebrow pencil. This one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Taupe. And I will darken up my mole. And then also I'll just give myself some more freckles. Because my foundation does cover a good majority of my freckles, I'll just go back in with this little pen and just kind of place them everywhere. Next for a touch of a highlight, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild highlight in the shade Golden Flower Crown. I just take like a very slight amount of this. If I don't like my highlight too intense anymore, also bring that under my eyebrow as well. Where I do love highlight is here on the bridge of my nose, on the tip of my nose, and on my cupid bow here. Finally, we have come to my favorite part of my makeup, which is the lips. I've been absolutely loving this lip liner from NYX. This is Nude Suede Shoes, and I honestly focus my lip liner right in my cupid's bow. Then I'll bring the pencil down and match my regular lip line just to give the illusion of that fuller upper lip like that. The bottom half, I'll just fill in regularly. So that's my lip liner. Then I'll go in with like a variety of lip glosses. Like there are many different lip glosses that I use. The one that's here on my vanity is the Couple Gold Sugar Rush in the shade Peach. So I love just like very nude pinky tones for my lips. All right, my loves, last but certainly not least is setting spray. This is the Morphe Mattifying Continuous Setting Spray. All right, guys, so this is the completed look. I absolutely love it. I think it just gives such a very feminine, beautiful, natural, yet kind of like snatched look. If you guys try it out, tag me on Instagram at Tringsby. I love you guys with all my heart. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Check out my sustainable clothing brand at Pronounced Tachi. Also, of course, don't forget to check out Hi Smile. It'll all be linked in the description down below. I love you guys with all my heart and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to go drink a glass of water. <laughs>